In this video, I will provide an introduction to the MSIX app attach functionality available in the Nerdio Manager. As of version 2.8 of the Nerdio Manager for WVD, uh, the application is natively integrated with MSIX commands that are also now available uh, as of recent in the Azure portal. Uh, in the previous implementations of AppAttach in Nerdio Manager versions 2.7 and earlier, uh, there was a different mechanism that integrated Nerdio Manager into the AppAttach uh, capabilities of the session host VMs. Uh, but now that, that integration happens uh, at, uh, at the API level using the native WVD portal capability. So let's go ahead and review some of the requirements and the prerequisites of, uh, for what's needed in order to use MSIX app attach. Let's go ahead and start out on the settings and integrations page. And in order to use app attach, we need to have an Azure file share that is either added through the Nerdio Manager or is linked to the Nerdio Manager if it has been added previously. This Azure file share must be joined to Active Directory and there must be necessary security permissions configured on it so that all session hosts and all users that are going to be leveraging MSAX app attach are able to connect to that file share. The second step is linking one of these file shares to the MSAX app attach storage location. You simply click link, select it from the list, give it a name and click OK. And that is going to create a link between an MSAX storage location and an Azure files which will then allow you to leverage the Nerdio Manager MSIX image library to upload and manage MSIX images. There is now a new menu option called MSIX app attach with two sub pages. Let's get started on the images page. And on the images page, you will notice uh, that as you start out, there will be no images listed even if you've previously used Nerdio Manager to manage your app attach applications. And that is because the schema and, and the way these, uh, these applications are stored and managed is slightly different in the new version. However, uh, if the application detects that you have been using the previous version, it's going to give you the option to migrate all of your existing applications and their assignments into this new images library. Uh, let's go ahead and click on this button says the click here to migrate and what this will do is it will show you all of your existing applications that may have existed in the previous version and what host pools they are attached to you'll notice that some host pools will have a red eye next to them and this will tell you that these host pools are in wvd classic not ARM, not the spring release or the current GA version of WVD. And therefore, migration and assignment and management of classic WVD host pools is not supported by the new MSIX app attach functionality in WVD. So it will be able to migrate all of the applications and their host pool assignments from the WVD ARM version, but not from the classic version. It will also tell you some of the prerequisites that you should make sure are in place before you click migrate and before you start using the new version. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention is that migrating your existing apps is not mandatory. You can continue using your current setup, your current applications and the way that they are being assigned to and delivered to the host pools. Uh, and it will continue working just as it has been. No changes are made to your existing deployment, but you will not be able to manage those assignments. You will not be able to upload new images into the old format. So if you want to actually start making changes, then you will need to go through the migration process. And in order to go through the migration process, there are three things you need to make sure are in place. Number one, as of the recording of this video, WVD app attach integration is currently in preview. And therefore, you need to have your Azure subscription whitelisted in order to enable that functionality. There is a link provided here. You click on this link. 
open up the form, fill out the form and submit it. It may take one business day or longer and you will receive a confirmation email when your subscription has been whitelisted. So don't start using this functionality. Don't migrate your applications until you have completed the step and received the confirmation email. The second prerequisite is to enable validation environment option on each host pool where you want to use MSIX app attach. And this is done from workspace host pool properties WVD. Let me show you where that is. Let's go to workspaces, click on our workspace. Let's find our app attached demo host pool. We'll go to the action menu properties WVD and you'll see that the validation environment option is selected right there. So this is what needs to be checked on any host pools where you want to use the new MSIX capabilities. Let's jump back into this page and click here to see, um, uh, to see our migration steps. And then the third prerequisite is before clicking migrate, ensure that the host pools listed up here actually have at least running session host VM so that the assignment and the staging of the applications can actually happen because that does require at least one VM to be available. So with all of these prerequisites in place, you can click migrate. It's going to take all of your existing apps and make them visible uh, in this view. So you'll be able to manage them. Uh, and then it will also give you the option to clean up your previous version uh, of the apps and it will automatically delete them and, and create um, uh, you know, the necessary linkage. So you don't have to clean up right away. You can use both the prior implementation of MSIX as well as the new implementation side by side. Uh, but it is recommended that once you have everything migrated and it's working using the new method that you clean up that old functionality. So that is again, an introduction to the new MSIX app attached functionality to summarize. Uh, version 2.8 of Nerdio Manager is where you'll see uh, this capability. WVD, as of the recording of this video, is in, um, in the MSIX capability in WVD is in preview. Once it's no longer in preview and is in GA, general availability, uh, you will no longer have to submit a subscription for whitelisting or um, enable the validation environment. So, so those are temporary requirements. Um, also, Azure Files is the preferred and recommended method for, a, for storing and managing application packages. Uh, however, other storage locations are supported and you can manage and connect to applications that are maybe stored on Azure Neta Files or maybe stored on the file server or other locations. So that is also supported, uh, but that is going to be the topic of future videos. So please stay tuned for those. Uh, talk to you soon.